Hey guys, back again. Welcome back to another video review. This time we're going to be taking a look at Transformers uh, Generations War for Cybertron uh, Deluxe Class Soundwave. As you can see, his alternate mode, as you can clearly see, is a... Some people like to describe it as a mind-sweeping vehicle. I'm just going to call it an armored vehicle. Uh, just an armored vehicle. Anyways, his primary colors are blue, uh, some silver, uh, does have some purple, uh, goldish trim, does have a, a Decepticon logo on the front, uh, rolls, uh, does have some translucent purple, some that's pretty much it. Now, he does have these weird looking things on the front. This one's this crotch guard in robot mode, but essentially it does move, so I guess it's a minesweeper. And also, just as a quick little update, guess how much snow we have gotten today? Five to ten centimeters of snow are falling as we speak. Why? Because I live in Canada. Look at that. Have a least so I won't. So on the Lord. Okay. Just one second. I just get it at a good angle. Yeah, it's white and it's it's blowing real hard, so. Get your shovels, Canadians. The Olympics are about to begin. <laughs> Anyways. <sighs> Anyways, enough of that. Uh, let's get on to the video. Now, it comes with a couple of accessories. I'm just going to take them out for now, but essentially he comes with two of them. Uh, his handgun and his shoulder cannon is a reference to his G1 self, so set that off to the side, and let's get on to the transformation. So, transformation for this guy is fairly simple, similar to Megatron's. Uh, first thing you want to do so I'm going to come here, or basically split this, fold these out, come the legs, feet come like this, rotate it around, and they push forward and lock in like that. So that is pretty cool. And you can flip this up if you wish. I'll just, you know, do it for the time being. So yeah. wheels, uh, just rotate down, and that is pretty much the lower half of Soundwave. For the rest of it, I'm going to take his arms, they're stowed here, round tab them like that. The wheels just basically come out like this, uh, the legs come down like this, Locks under place like that. Fold back his wheels like this. And then take his, for his head, you just want to split this. Put them up like that, rotate it around. Flip back these panels. Flip down this uh, crotch piece, looks like a diaper. For his hands, basically uh, flip out like that. Now he does, you can turn him into the boom box from the game, as seen in the advertisement and in the game, but I'm not really going to show you that, but it doesn't really show in the instructions. But anyways, there you have uh, Generations War for Cybertron Soundwave in his robot mode. One second, I need to sneeze. Anyways, um, articu articulation wise, um, he does have some head articulation. Arms can rotate full 360 in and out. Uh, they bend the elbow inwards. Uh, they can rotate. Uh, he does have. Um, oh. Well, oh. Sorry, I thought he didn't have wrist swivel, but he does kind of have wrist swivel. 
Uh, no waist, the legs go forward and back, in and out, bend at the knee, rotate, feet are poseable. And for his weapons, you can take this weapon here, place it on his, uh, you can either place it in his arm, his hand, or on his shoulder right here. Or you can take this gun here, just push it, pull it out, and then it can be a little bit tricky to get into his hand. It is packaged in an angle like that, so yeah. Will I recommend now will I recommend this figure? Yes. Great homage to his original self. Not a bad figure overall. Can't wait to get the figure of Soundwave from Transformers Prime. I love the design. But this design is pretty cool and yeah. So overall, highly recommended. So that is my little quick video review of Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Deluxe Class Soundwave. And I will be seeing you uh, with my final three figures of 2010. So take care everyone, and I'll see you all soon. Goodbye.